What's up guys, it's Joe the Pro here, back at it again with another video. So today, as another segment for my new series called Ask Joe the Pro, today we will be changing a respot cell from an 8230 pin setter. So I have to change this one from uh, lane number four. It's a normal respot cell, it's not one of the ones that go underneath the track. All right guys, so sorry if it's a little loud, we have a few people bowling. But um, I've dropped the sweep, I've turned the power off to the machine, and now we can enter. And we have to change this one, it's the nine pin. So basically you just wanna, you just wanna remove these four screws that screw the cup into it. And for the record, this is the first respot saw we've had to change all year. And it's November. So I guess that's nice. Once you get them loose, usually they come right out. Oh, and if you guys if you guys still have your magic triangles, you can unplug your detector wire right there. Actually, we'll take the bottoms out first. I haven't done one of these in a long time. Somebody requested this in the comments. a month ago now. And yes, it's nice having uh, nice clean machines because you can actually set your bolts places. So now you can see the cup's pretty loose. Take your cup on out of there. So what I'm doing, I have my, I have my waist pressing up onto the respot cell so it doesn't fall. So now I'll just grab it, pull it off. So as you can see, this one, this one's kind of messed up. I'm not too sure what's going on with it, but I have so many respot cells now. What I do, I just disassemble them and save the parts. So that's the bad one right there. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. So this is the one I'm gonna put on right here. I've gone through and rebuilt it. So... Um, we have AccuScore, so you really don't need to have these plugs plugged in, but I just like doing it just for old time's sake. And I want to note right here before I put this one on, you want to make sure that this key that comes out of the tube on the table, you want to make sure that doesn't fall out of there. So make so keep track of that. Because that's what keeps the position of the respot cell the right way. So, oh yeah, and check your cup, and make sure it's not broken before you put it back on there. All right. I usually like to put the tops in first. Just personal preference.
think I'm gonna make a separate playlist for these kind of videos. All right, so when you first put it on, I, I just snug the screws up because usually you have to go back and adjust the cup so it sets the pin the right way. But I think I've gotten lucky once where I didn't have to go back and fix it. if I could get some new hex bits. All right, that should be good. All right. Um, actually, that looks a little crooked. We'll get it out. We'll uh, turn the machine on and see where it sets it first. So, just make sure your hands and legs are clear before you turn the power back on. So, turn these switches on. Turn that on. Plug this in. And it comes back up. All right, well, at least we know it works. Eh, it's not the best plug. It's okay. There we go. That's good. <laughs> I don't know why I'm spending so much time on it. All right, so what I like to do, I'll just run the sweep and then set the pins manually. Just make it go faster. Oh, it's way off, okay. Oh yeah, that's way off. Right. Oh yeah, all right, so it's got to go to the right a lot So it's got to go to the right and it's got to go forward and I see some of the other cups do too So Drop the sweep again because we're going back in And turn the power off So to get the cup to move upwards, all you gotta do is uh, loosen the bottom a few turns. One, two, three. One, two, three. Actually, we gotta move it over too, right? Yeah. This will actually help with the uh, pin feeding. Probably gonna wind up fixing all the spotting with these pins. Yeah, this cup's all crooked.
All right, uh, let it feed. So, since we have the pinwheel clutches, the pinwheel's obviously not moving. So when I'm up here doing stuff like this, the trick is to get it to start feeding without just placing a pin on there. You can move the pin counter up half a, half a number and it won't mark for an extra pin. I just found that out the other day. So see, it just went to one. So we'll get out of here. Actually, yeah, it still needs to go up a lot. So, to look at all these ones, that's ridiculous. Yeah. It's got to go to the right a little still, too. All right. All right, so you guys get the basic idea. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm just going to keep adjusting these cups so they're on spot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more requests, leave them in the comments down below. And please like, subscribe, and peace, and do it like a pro. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.